This is a person parking in a handicap spot illegally with no handicap permit. And this is my tow truck. <laughs> well, just because you drive a big truck don't mean you can't get got. You're going to learn today. So join me as we give this handicap cheater a morning to remember and several other vehicles such as this Chevy parked with no permit. This Chevy also parked in the same parking lot with no permit. This Toyota RAV4 that was parked in the wrong parking lot. This permit is good for the property across the street. This Tundra parked with an old permit that's no longer valid at this property. This Honda Odyssey that tried to hide their expired visitor permit by tucking it up in the uh, rear view mirror, as you'll see in a second. 11-30-23, when I towed it, it was December 4th. This Honda Odyssey also parked with the same thing, an expired visitor permit. You can clearly see this one expired on November 30th, 2020. 23. When I towed it, it was December 4th. So join me for another edition of Nightly Impounds with a special handicap cheaters mixed in. As always, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. This is all 100% real towing content. I try to read every comment. The channel's still growing. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment and I'll try to get back to you. All right. So without further ado, let's get into the video. A handicap cheater. Let's see what's going on over here. Unless they got it sitting on their dash. Done. I even check to see if it was warm or not. It's still pretty early out. Yeah. Uh, it's not warm. It is not warm. I don't see a handicap permit down there. We're gonna have to dolly it. Gotta throw the dollies on because it's all wheel drive.
What's up, you Subigra family? It's about to be 2 a.m. Uh, I've got at least six cars bound already. I already towed one, towed that handicapped cheater that I went live with for the first time. Come to find out during that live video, my phone was connected to my truck via Bluetooth, so when I was talking outside, <laughs> nobody could hear anything. So, of course, that was a failure. But we're going to this property right now that is actually a college. It's right next to the community college. It's a college property. And I used to tow a lot of cars out of there. It used to be one of my favorite properties. We used to be able to tow till 9 in the morning. Now they, I think they either made it 5 or 6, so the cutoff's pretty damn early. But a lot of college kids live there. They always have parties and stuff. And it seemed like somebody was having a party there now. There's three cars there, all have no permits all backed in all front wheel drive so i should be able to each one of them i'm going to grab in less than 10 seconds so first one i'm probably going to get that chevy malibu we'll be on in 10 seconds we'll go drop it off of the lot come back get the next one and so on and so forth there's like chevy malibu a kia uh soul and um some sort of new chevy i'm not even sure really what kind of chevy it is i'm not familiar with it <clears throat> So we're about to be at the property. It's actually at this next light up here. So I'm gonna turn on my other GoPro, throw it on the boom, and we're gonna run in there and grab them. And I'm gonna try and do it as fast as possible because I've seen some other people on YouTube recently claiming to be, you know, quote unquote, tow goats and super fast repos and all this stuff. So. I don't know how fast you can be one of one of them minute man booms, but we'll have to compare here shortly. So I'm gonna put my boom down now. We'll throw the other GoPro on the boom. We're gonna go in and out quickly. Hopefully their party's not over with. Hopefully they're not outside smoking or something. Even if they are, well I mean I I don't think they'll be able to catch us. That's how quick we're about to be. So let's throw this on the boom and we'll get into it. property where we just towed the uh, Chevy Malibu now we're gonna go get the next one about to put the boom down and get into it
All right, you sit with your family. So as I was towing that second Chevy, uh, I looked over to my left in the parking lot that we also tow from. It's a huge shopping center. And I saw a Kia Soul in the middle of the parking lot with its lights on and a city police car next to it. And, and the cop got out and he started going through the car. So I didn't know if he was arresting somebody or what he was doing. Um, as I was doing my paperwork, I saw a couple more cops pull up. And I started putting two and two together. Uh, that's probably the Kia Soul that I was going to come back and try and get. When I first saw that Kia at the property next to the shopping center, it was parked in the very corner of the parking lot. And when I towed the first Chevy Malibu, when I was doing my paperwork out on the street, three dudes wearing all black and ski masks actually walked down the sidewalk past me towards the property where the Kia was. And they kind of looked at me like, oh, shit, like I was... I honestly thought that it might, the Malibu that I was towing might be one of their cars. So as they got next to me, I just pulled off. But now come to think of it, I think that uh, they had actually stolen that Kia. And they probably left right as um, I left. You know, they probably went to the property, got in the Kia, and moved it, thinking that I'm going to tow it. So I don't know what happened after they moved it. But now it was in the parking lot across the street. So after I dropped off that white Chevy at the lot, when I came back to the property to see if the Kia Soul was still there, this is what I saw. <clears throat> That's definitely the same one. that Kia was, as we say in the industry, GOA or going on arrival. You know, as I go through my nightly impounds every night, when I find cars, they're not always there when I come to tow them. So, um, yeah, I just go on to the next property and try and find the next car. So we're going to jump into the next part of the video where I'm going to tow that RAV4. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to dolly it. <laughs> Sucks. But it is what it is. This is a rental car. Damn, it's not actually all wheel drive. They just got the e brake on. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Break on hard as a rock. Right, so let's do this. I 
probably should have checked the other side first, but it's all good. It's all good. from the other side. Strap on. Get out of here. That sucks. We've had two cars dip on us so far. But that's why I keep it moving. Nothing's ever guaranteed. That's definitely the old permit. Nobody else has that one. Everybody else has the new one. So, we're gonna go ahead and get that dude. seen them here before so
I'm gonna have to skate them out. <clears throat> Pick them up by the front or by the back. knocked out in his car. See stuff like that all the time. All the time. too hard and it locks at a 90 degree angle you're stuck right there in the middle of the road at 90 degree angle until you throw them dollies on all right, you Subiger fan, we're going to jump into the next one here. I think this is going to be the Honda Odyssey or Toyota Sienna, one of the two. Both of them have expired visitor permits. Um, both are front-wheel drive. One is backed in, one's front in. So I think the Honda Odyssey, I got to skate out, and the other one's just a hit and dip. So we're going to jump into it. Look how they put their temporary permit to try and hide where the date is. They like tucked it all the way up. So you gotta like come look down here. You can't even really see it with my camera, but I can see it with my eyeballs. It says November 30th. So they're done. You're done, son.
So we got family. We just found number six and number seven. I brought you out of Sienna's. Both of them have expired visitor permits. <laughs> One's backed in, so it's a hit and dip. We can be gone in 10 seconds. The other one right here pulled in forward. <laughs> so we're gonna have to skate that one out. We're gonna grab the easy one first, hit and dip, and then we'll come back for the skate one. We're gonna throw this one on the boom and get it. Oh, yeah, get it. back to that same property uh i thought they were the same vehicle but they're not i thought they were two toyota siennas but one's a honda odyssey i already did the paperwork for the second one so one is a the one we just dropped off is a toyota sienna the one we're about to get is a honda odyssey we got to skate the honda odyssey out pick it up by the front um both of them are being towed for the same reason though. They both have visitor permits that expired November 30th. Today is December 4th. Plenty of time to get a new permit. So, no excuse for that one. And then after we tow this one, we're just gonna hit the road, man. This is number seven. To leave work by 5.30, I should get home by seven beautiful because there's too many of us towing up here my co-worker just pulled in there goes my oh wait that's not my co-worker <laughs> that's our competition that was authorized towing look like my co-worker struck though but regardless there's too many of us up here there's four of us up here towing right now possibly even five the lot's almost full seven cars is a beautiful night like seven cars is my goal every single night minimum so to get that and call it a night, beautiful. To be gone, seven cars by 5.30, uh, I, could, I would do that every single day if I could. So we're going to uh, get this last one and call it a day, call it a night. Make a little nightly impound montage of all this when I get home, rocking the new camera angle. I think that coupled with the other GoPro on the boom, that'll make for some good video. Because I think that angle right there is beautiful because you can see me, you can see the controller, and you can see kind of what I'm towing. So that angle right there is money. And that's actually my 
bone holder that I'm not using anymore, it has a suction cup on it. I actually got a magnet now for my phone so I can use my magnet holder. But for a while, my phone didn't have a magnet on it, so I had to use, I bought that suction cup one. Man, those blue lights in people's cars from their freaking little Uber sign up in the corner should be illegal. Any blue or red light should not be allowed in your car, because every time I see that, I think it's a freaking cop. Pretty sure you're not allowed to have any blue or light blue or red light anywhere inside your vehicle. Alright, we're about to be at this property now. Just going put the boom down. I'm gonna push the unfold button. And it'll auto stop once it's at the level. So it's level now. So now we're gonna put it down towards the ground. I'm not gonna put it too far down because there's a big hill going in and out of this property, big big bump. So we're pulling into the property right now. We're gonna turn on the other GoPro, throw it on the boom. And like I said, we gotta skate that thing out. So we're gonna stop right here, get our stuff ready. Put this one on the boom.
Ice number seven. $350 night right there. In a few hours. What other job can you cut this one off and we're going home, gang? You said we grip them, we going home. my co-worker and that's another reason we going home and this is exactly why we're going home He's towing the car. My coworker's already in the lot with the car. I'm bringing in a car. See y'all on the flip side.